You know, the battle for your business. Airlines are making some major changes to the perks you'll get in first class or not get in economy. Simply Money's Amy Wagner joins us tonight with how the distance between the front of the plane and the back is starting to feel longer and longer. Major airlines are competing with discount carriers by offering ultra cheap fares, but they're also upping the perks for those premium customers. And the difference between the two is getting pretty big. Ultra cheap fares mean airlines have to skimp on something to make a profit. Economy travelers will likely notice once standard perks disappearing, things like free carry-on baggage and choice of seat before boarding could soon be a thing of the past. Expect your seats for these no-frill fares to provide very little space as well. Meanwhile, near the front of the plane, airlines are upping their game for those first class and business travelers. Not only do these travelers have more space and deeply reclining seats, but Delta is set to roll out business class suites this year, which are small cabins that can be closed off from others. Other airlines are also offering bedding by Saks Fifth Avenue and noise canceling headsets to those in the front of the plane. And while the gap in perks is widening, so is the gap in pricing. Consider this. The price to fly on certain routes aboard United next month varies from $800 in economy to nearly $5,800 in business class. So if the price of those business seats still sounds too high, but the lack of perks in those economy seats make you want to stay on the ground, most airlines are coming up with a class that falls in the middle. A little more leg room, maybe a little better food, but not those rock-bottom prices. For Fox 19 Now and Simply Money, I'm Amy Wagner.